What's up and welcome everyone. I'm just remembering the time that a loved one gave me a gift. It was a couch and it, um, it had roaches in it. Happy New Year. Feliz Ayo Nuevo. Sing Ming Kwai La. Hedi Yan Kum Kum Paya. Look it up. We got to talk about this Rix. This roach infested couch mentality. It's wreaking havoc in America and beyond. In order for us to have a happy new year, we want to have to address this thing. What is roach infested couch mentality, you say? Rix, as it's commonly called, is a troubled way of thinking that proves to be hazardous and causes perpetual challenges for the holder of such thinking. Yeah, of course I just made that up. However, that's the only logical way to explain a person knowingly giving you a couch with roaches in it. So you wanna give me a problem where a problem did not exist. Fast forward, I had someone um, take it out for me, but wouldn't you know, just allowing that Rick, that roach infested couch in my place, less than 24 hours, I wake up to go pour some orange juice and little Sammy, little, little Roachy, it's greeting me in the cabinet. Livid. I'm to blame now. I should not have allowed that. If, if I had doubts, I should allow it to be in there. I call the person, let them know, I'm like, you know, I appreciate you bringing it up here and I apologize, you know, I didn't keep it. And they were like, why didn't you keep it? At least you had a couch. What? You mess around and have that uh, roach infested couch or have an issue with roaches, period. They gonna wind up getting bold and be in your book bag. Shout out to the person that happened to a fourth grade. The point is, is that the issue is going to find you. For some teens, um, something more serious might be, um, I don't know, you finally got a girlfriend, finally got a boyfriend, and you're so glad about the attention, you know, the hug and all the kind of stuff, uh-huh. But then they're putting their hands on you. So instead of throwing a whole person out, you say, oh, but it's so nice to be held. At least I have a boyfriend. At least I have a girlfriend. No. That don't work. That's dating violence. That don't work. You know what? Rich can also be the reason why certain families have members that just consistently don't finish school or keep having kids they can't care for. It's almost like it's a couch, but it's a mentality, but it's something gets passed down through the family like it's an heirloom. Like your uncle Bobby had this, or your great grandma, whoever, and here you go, this Rick's, this roach infested couch. And then the cycle continues. Yeah, like Rick's mentality is the reason why a young girl will be having sex with a guy she knows is no good for her and keeps having pregnancy scares instead <laughs> of just changing her behavior. I know, right? Like, yeah. Get yourself together. Like, how many times you gonna do that? <laughs> Good boy. Like, it's true to that. You're right, though. You're right, Miss Producer. You're actually absolutely correct. Let's eat, let's go even further then. Let's yeah, go, why not? Let's yeah. go further. Let's get go further. Yet further yes, again. A little bit How further. Many times uh -huh. People gonna get diseases from the same dirt balls and be okay with it because the only thing they need is a shot and some meds and they'll be gone for right. a while. Like how many? How many times? Like, right. Like how many times? How many times you want to complain about that same thing and you not making any moves to make it better? You can't complain about the stuff you allow. Come on. Come on. More seriously, though, to some degree, we're honest. We all got some type of ricks, some type of low level thinking that might prevent us from doing certain things and experiencing certain things. So best I can tell you right now, and you can let me know also in the comments, um, what can you do to actually get yourself 
out of Rick's or get the Rick's out of you. I say associate and connect with people who are on that higher level so that you can identify whether or not you got a Rick's in your house. Happy New Year once again to everybody. I wish nothing but the best for you and your family. And I look forward to connecting with y'all more tightly uh, in this coming year. I catch y'all in the supermarket or social media because that's the only places I've been these past nine months. Thank y'all so much. Have a good one. I'm offended, yet amused.